This summer, challenge yourself. Seven stunning locations with distances to suit all abilities. Get ready for the swim of your life. Enter at oceanswim.co.nz. This Swimming New Zealand event is proudly supported by Constellation Communities Trust. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day three finals of the 2019 New Zealand Short Course Championships. My name is Scott Rice, uh, looking to call some of the races this evening. Some fantastic swims this morning again from Helena Gasson, a New Zealand record in the 100 metres individual medley. And a great lineup of uh, races this evening for you all to, to watch. We start with the men's and women's 100 metres individual medley with Wilrick Kutsia in lane four, the pole position in the men's. He won the 200 metre individual medley, so looking forward to seeing what he can do over the 100. Uh, Helena Gasson, as we've mentioned uh, in the women's event, under the minute for the 100 IM, fantastic time. Looking forward to seeing whether she can go a bit faster tonight and take out the national title. We then move to the 50 freestyle, the blue ribbon, the splash and dash, the men's and women's, just 0.4 of a second separating the men with Tyron Henry, Josh Greenings, and Andrew Jeffcoat, the 50 backstroke winner in that race. And the women's event, Emma Godwin is in lane four. She won the 100 meters backstroke, coming from a, a club that really know how to sprint. And then the men's and women's 200 meters breaststroke, with Bailey Wang with the men's, um, not far away from that New Zealand age group record this morning in 2.12 and a half. And Brianna Crawford versus uh, Kara Smith in the 200. Kara Smith, more known for her 200 metres, so it'll be a great race. And the men's 400 metre freestyle, Zach Reed sitting in lane five, which is a little bit odd. Quinton uh, Hurley in lane four, so the battle's going to be on in the middle of the pool for the 400 metres freestyle. We finish the evening with the men's and women's 4 by 50 metre club relay. So buckle yourselves in, it's going to be another great night of racing. We're now going to have a look at a video explaining a little bit more about para multi-class swimming. Para swimmers are placed into classifications according to their level of impairment. To illustrate, Lexi is using just two classes with three examples in each. More impaired S7 swimmers on the left, less impaired S10s on the right. Each swimmer's class has a world record for the event they're both racing in. Multi-class racing allows swimmers from different classes to compete against one another and they do this by generating points. If they swim quicker than the world record in their class, they score above a thousand points. Swim slower, and they score fewer than a thousand. This means that the swimmer that makes it to the finish line first might not win the race. In this example, the S7 swimmer has more points than the less impaired S10 swimmer because they were closer to the world record in their class. Only when all the swimmers have reached the finish line is the race outcome confirmed. Well, a really fantastic video, that one, just to show how it all works for para multi-class, often not the first person to touch the wall that wins. Well, we're just about before five o'clock now, so please join me in welcoming our officials for this evening's session. Our referees are, for the men's events, Phil Jobling. 
for the women's events, Liz Agnew. Our starters are for the men's events, David Gregory. For the women's events, Jackie Forsyth. The technical director for these championships is Leslie Huckins from Canterbury West Coast. Thank you officials, you can now be seated. We will now hand over to the referee and starter to get us underway. This uh, we get underway with event number 118, the men's 100 metres individual medley starting with the C final. Let's welcome them to the pool deck. The C final of the men's 100 metres individual medley. In lane zero from Howard Pakaranga, Lyle Hill. Lane one from Tasman Swim Club, Moab Hayen Camp. In lane two from Tamuka Swimming Club, Luca Foy. Lane three from North Shore Swimming Club, Daniel Zeng. In lane four from Queenstown Swimming Club, Isaac Frewin. In lane five from Evolution Aquatics, Tauranga, Louis Fitzjohn. Lane six from QE2 Swim Club, Bryn Rumble. Lane seven from Jazzy Swim Club, Joel Nichols. And lane eight from Pukekohe Swim Club, Thomas Murray. Lane nine from Central Coast Academy of Sport, Patrick Olgen. We now welcome to the pool deck the B finalists of men's 100 metres individual medley. The B final of the men's 100 metres individual medley, lane zero from Hittatonga Sun Devils, Matthew Sexton. Lane one from Howard Pakaranga, Ryan Oliver. Lane two from Pukekohe Swimming Club, Blake Elliott. Lane three from Evolution Aquatics, Tauranga, Daniel Shanahan. Lane four from Coast Swimming Club, Finn Kennard Campbell. Lane five from Geraldine Swim Club, Jack Sands. Lane six from Capital Swim Club, Che Pule Pule. Lane seven from QE2 Swim Club, Flynn McDonald. Lane 8 from Evolution Aquatics, Tauranga, Connor Farrell. Lane 9 from Enterprise Swim Club, Jack Keeper.
please welcome the A finalists of the men's 100 metres individual medley. In lane zero from North Shore Swimming Club, Patrick McGill. In lane one from Hamilton Aquatics, Daniel Hardy. In lane two from Raumati Swimming Club, Jack Plummer. In lane three from North Canterbury, Jeremy Tasker. In lane four from North Shore Swimming Club, Wilrick Kutsia. In lane five from Pukekohe Swim Club, Zach Dell. In lane six from KRB Aquatics, Luca Polvia. In lane seven from QE2 Swim Club, Zeke Pine. In lane eight from St Paul's Swimming Club, Josh Pickett. And lane nine from Sydney, Sydney University, Zai Ma. Away we go, four lengths of the pool, one length of each stroke, and some top quality swimmers in the middle of the field. Jeremy Tasker won the 50 metres butterfly in lane three, so he's the 50 metre fly champion. He turns first, I think, Jeremy Tasker, lane three from North Canterbury. Woolrick could see a very, very handy butterfly indeed himself. And they go to the wall, this will be a race between Tasker and Kutsia, I think. They go through to the breaststroke. Who's going to pop up first? It's even, very, very even. Wilrick Kutsia in four. Jeremy Tasker on very good form at the moment. Zach Dell from Pukekohe in lane five is holding on. Wilrick Kutsia touches the wall with 25 metres left to swim. North Shore versus North Canterbury. Wilrick Kutsia just showing his class in the final 12 and a half metres. He's going to get to the wall first. Very close indeed, 54.90, just 0.3 of a second in it. Jeremy Tasker taking out second. Zach Dell in third out of lane five. Hey Warwick, congratulations, that was a tough title to win that one, you had to push it all the way to the end. Yeah, it was a good race between Jeremy and me, we are really happy about it, but plan I got to the end, just had a little bit faster, yeah. And nice to have the double, the 200, the 100, own that 100, uh, the individual medley titles. Yeah, it's good, kind of hard to do the 400 I am now, but you get what you get, you know. Did you realise how close it was with 25 metres left to go and, you know, you knew you had to dig deep? Yeah, so I turned on the breast stroke, saw he was right there and I was like, put my head down, just try over kick and over pull and see what happened. Yeah. Well, congratulations, well done on another title.
We move now to event number 218. Please welcome to the pool deck the A finalists of the men's 100 metres individual medley para multi class. In lane three, from Heta Tonga Sun Devils, Lance Dusto. In lane four, from Mount Eden Swimming, David Beck. In lane five, from Papakura Swimming Club, Joshua Wilmer. In lane six, from Coast Swimming Club, Harry Randall. Away we go, four gentlemen in the pool, all with varying degrees of disability and different disability classes. And here with Cameron Leslie, the legend of Paralympic swimming, um, tells me David Beck did a New Zealand record this morning in his class in a 1.11.39. So already on top form, David Beck, as he heads into the backstroke leg. His class SM14 for David Beck. And the 14 is a mental disability. And he is currently the fastest in New Zealand for this class over this distance. And let's see what he can do this evening. And in the lane five, Joshua Wilmer, Lance Dusto in three, Harry Randall from Coast in six. So 1.11.39 was the time swum this morning. Let's see what David can do this evening. Watch for the clock. He's blown it away. 1.10.66 goes just under a second under again. Very, very good time for David Beck. And Josh Wilmer goes in for second to the wall. Lance Duster will wait for the official result. The unofficial result will be on the board shortly. Most likely will be David Beck with that amazing time there of 1.10.66. Well done, David. You would be the envy of a lot of swimmers because every time you get in that pool, you swim faster. New Zealand record this morning, and a New Zealand record again. You must be pretty happy. Yeah, very happy because it just gets better and better. Good on you, David. And a little, a few words for your coach. Do you want to say something to your coach? He must be helping you swim faster. Yeah, but he, he's doing a pretty good job, though. He definitely is. He'd be a happy man, I think. What's his name? Um, it would be Glenn Hamblin, but tonight Don is here. Well, good on you, Glenn. Good on you, Don. And well done on another great performance. Yeah, thanks. Please welcome to the pool deck the C finalists of event 119, the women's 100 metres individual medley.
This is the C final of the women's 100 metres individual medley. In lane zero, uh, from TB SES Central City Swimming, Ray Kwan. In lane one, from St Peter's, is Holly Isaac. Lane two, from Evolution Aquatics, Eleanor Gilbert. Lane three, from St Paul's, Hannah Morgan. Lane four, from Pukekohe Swimming, Abby Swain. Lane five, from St Peter's, is Minnie Glover. Lane six, from North Canterbury, is Cassie Taylor. Lane seven, from St Peter's, is Savannah Burke. Lane eight, from Mount Albert Grammar, is Edie Ansell. And lane nine from St. Peter's is Jade Houston. And just an announcement for Team Line. Team Line have sourced more of the short course uh, branded rugby jerseys, which have been so popular. And you can order online now at teamline.co.nz forward slash events. And it's live now. That is the rugby jerseys that have gone out the door so quickly they sold out. Now available online at teamline.co.nz forward slash events. Please welcome the B finalist of event 119, the women's 100 metres individual medley. The B final of the women's 100 metres individual medley. In lane zero from Evolution Aquatics, Lily Pierce. In lane one from Aquablades New Plymouth, Lucy North. In lane two from St Peter's Swimming Club, Sarah Wilson. Lane three from Capital Swim Club, Sophie Irving. Lane four from Taiedi Swim Club, Jordan Summers. Lane five from St Paul Swimming Club, Amelia Dallatour. In lane six from North Shore Swimming Club, Mia Van Royen. Lane 7 from Enterprise Swim Club, Ava Smith. In lane 8 from Parnell Swimming, Alexandra Campion. In lane 9 from Potirua City Aquatics, Georgia Wills. Please welcome the A finalists of the women's 100 metres individual medley. In lane zero from Mount Albert Grammar, Vasilina Shipilova. In lane one from Orca Swimming Club, Amy Pratt. In lane two from Neptune Swim Club, 
Jessica Scott. In lane three from Phoenix Aquatics, Vanessa Overhand. In lane four from Coast Swimming Club, Helena Gasson. In lane five from Aquagym Swimming Club, Hannah Bates. In lane six from Mount Monganui Swimming Club, Zylika Pratt Smith. In lane seven from North Shore Swimming Club, Minay Nell. In lane eight from St Paul Swimming Club, Sarah Miller. And lane nine from Topo Swimming Club, Tony Saunders. Away they go, the A finalists, the women's 100 metres individual medley. And in the form of her life, Helena Gasson in lane four broke a second New Zealand record this morning in the heats, 59.88. She's well clear of the rest of the field by four seconds. A four second margin, but a good start there in lane three, Vanessa Owenhan. And quite close at the moment. The turn's also important in this 100 metres IM. Helena Gasson powers into the breaststroke. A full body length in front of the field now. Vanessa Owenhand is in second. Third at the moment is between Hannah Bates and Zalika Pratt-Smith. Can we get another NZR? Helena Gasson buries the head with 25 metres left to swim. She wants it again. She wants the New Zealand record. Helena Gasson coming in for another national title. 59.76. That's a new New Zealand record, ladies and gentlemen. Faster again, that's all you can ask for. 59.76. Vanessa Owenhand comes in second, and Hannah Bates third. Congratulations, Helena. I'm ashamed I missed your swim this morning, but I got to see it again tonight. Point one faster than your New Zealand record this morning, just going faster in the finals. You must be wrapped. Yeah, no, I am. Um, I feel like I put together a better race this morning, but I'm just glad to have gone faster tonight. Yeah, it was quite close at the 50 metre mark, but then you just pulled away and never looked back from that, uh, from that second 50. In terms of your preparation coming in, something's going so right at the moment for you. Is there certain things you can put that down to? I think it's just a really good relationship with my coach. We just work really well together and we just have such a good understanding. Well, that's awesome. Uh, Michael Weston doing a great job with you. Congratulations on another title. We move now and welcome the women finalists in event 219, the 100 metres individual medley para multi-class. In lane three from Otrahonga Swim Club, Melissa Donahue. 
in lane four from Howick Pakaranga, Tupo Naufi. In lane five from Faranui Swim Club, Lily Fox Mason. So Tupo Naufi in the class SM8, which is a physical disability. And she swam 123.70 this morning, a New Zealand record this morning, which was fantastic. So great to see these para swimmers swimming faster than they've ever swum, keep getting faster, as did David Beck with a big smile on his face. So Tupo Naufi hoping to go faster than the, the program time there of 123.70 for a new New Zealand record. So we'll be watching for that time as well. She's just finished her favoured backstroke leg and into the breaststroke now. And that is Lily Fox Mason in the red cap in lane five, her first national meet at 14 years of age, looking for a time of 127.74. And Melissa Donahue, 32 year old at uh, Otrahonga Swimming Club. And here we go, this is uh, Tupo in her final 12 and a half metres, looking for the time of 123.70 to break her New Zealand record. She goes in, she smashed it. 119.11. Wow. And Melissa Donahue coming in, and we look at her time, 1.51.16, also under her seed time. So great result there for all three swimmers. Congratulations, Tupo. I was just talking to Cameron Leslie there, and he said, I was asking him, how do you swim so fast after coming back from the World Para Championships? You know, you must be a bit tired, right, coming off the, the World Paras? Yeah, definitely. I'm doing the jet lag as well. How much training have you been doing since getting back from the Worlds and, and now? Um, so I'd say we got back on the Wednesday. But literally that afternoon I went straight back to training just to prepare for short course. So. Oh, you must have had a few good sleeps and feeling rested, so well done, another great swim. We move now to event number 120, the splash and dash, the blue ribbon, 50 metres freestyle for men. This is the C final lining up on the blocks. In lane one, Lars Benson, lane, sorry, lane zero, Lars Benson, lane one, Rocco Marsh, lane two, Robin Shen, lane three, Thomas McGibbon, four, Alexandra Belmont, five, Nathan Taplin, six, James Baldwin, seven, Chris Dawson, eight, Tom Gold, and nine, he
Please welcome to the pool deck the B finalists of the men's 50 metres freestyle. The B final of the men's 50 freestyle zero is Fergus Eady, one Josh McCormack Goth, two Tom Drever, three Aiko Shibuya, four Daniel Hardy, five Nathan Ward, six Daniel Shanahan, seven Jason Churches, eight Darren uh, Menges, and nine Blake Elliott. Please welcome to the pool deck the A finalists of the men's 50 metres freestyle. In lane zero from Pukekohe Swimming Club, Zach Dell. In lane one from St. Peter's Swimming Club, Dan Cordwell. In lane two from Wharanui Swimming Club, Christopher Elson. In lane three from Howick Pakaranga, Tyron Henry. In lane four from Hitatonga Sun Devils, Joshua Greening. In lane five from Pukekohe Swimming Club, Andrew Jeffcoat. In lane six from Capital Swim Club, Thomas Wilson. In lane seven from North Canterbury Swimming Club, Ollie Rayner. In lane eight from Waterhole Swimming, Iyad Musad. In lane nine from Raumati Swimming Club, Jack Plummer. Away we go, the fastest 10, 50 freestylers in the country for the men. Looking in the middle of the field, it looks like a good start there by Joshua Greening in lane four. He turns first, five, Andrew Jeffcoat in second at the moment. Joshua Greening's leading them through in lane four. He's got it by a fraction over lane five's Andrew Jeffcoat. They go to the wall, 22-3-0. Lane four takes it, Jeff Coat in second, Ollie Rayner from lane seven snaps third. Congrats, Josh. Great swim, great start. You led down that first lap and then you just pulled away in that second. Uh, 
You look real powerful. You look real strong in that. You happy with that? Uh, yeah. So started at first nationals inside out talks. So to win the open title was pretty amazing. So first time, first national title for you? Uh, yeah. So pretty stoked with that. It's a big honour. It's a big event. The 50 freestyle. Congratulations. Look forward to seeing you in the hundred. Please welcome the finalists in event 220, the men's 50 metres freestyle power up multi class. In lane two from Coast Swimming Club, Harry Randall. In lane three from Papakura Swimming Club, Joshua Wilmer. In lane four from Selwyn Swimming Club, Yian Edwards. In lane five from Hedatonga Sun Devils, Lance Dusto. And lane six from Geraldine Swimming Club, Benjamin Gould. The splash and dash for the para multi class, and away we go. Great start in the middle of the pool there by Yian Edwards, storming away. Got some great PBs this week, Yian, and a couple of national titles to his name. Powering through, great underwater work too by Yian Edwards in the orange cap in the middle of the pool. And in lane five, Lance Dusto, often swimming in the same race as these guys, probably all good mates. And in lane three here, this is Joshua Young, Joshua Wilmer from Papakura coming in. 28.82, ladies and gentlemen. Faster than the seed time. Good on you, Yian. Good on you, Yian. You look so powerful in that, so in control. You've had a great meet so far. Just a fraction underneath the uh, the time you had in the heats this morning. Is that a PB again? Yeah, it's a PB. You've got to be wrapped with every single swim you're doing, doing a PB, right? Yeah, that's great. In terms of um, from here, what is the next big meet you're aiming for? Uh, opens, and then maybe some international meets. And you've had a little bit of international experience, haven't you? Tell us about that. I went to Melbourne at the start of the year with the para crew and to the World Series, so that's pretty cool. Must make the training go a little bit easier when you know you've got these trips coming up. Yeah, it makes it a whole lot easier. It makes it so much more worth it. Well, good on you, Jan. Congratulations on another great swim. Please welcome the C finalists of event 121, the women's 50 metres freestyle.
Lane zero, this is Annie Jenkova. Lane one, Lucy Abbott. Lane two, Kirsten Fisher's Masters. Lane three, Claudia Avis. Lane four, Brooke Miles. Lane five, Ray Kwan. Lane six, Holly Rahu Rahu. Lane seven, Isabella Campion. Eight, Charlotte Hewson. And nine, Minnie Glover. Very, very close race, that one. About 0.1 of a second separating about five of them. Please welcome the B final of the women's 50 metres freestyle. In lane zero, Courtney Matthews. Lane one, Edie Ansell. Lane two, Caitlin Flynn. Lane three, Jelani Frasier-Wetzel. Lane four, Caitlin Farrell. Lane five, Amy Pratt. Six, Manaya Butler. Seven, Olive Pierce. Eight, Jessica Scott. Nine, Isabella Thurlow. Please welcome the A finalists of the women's 50 metres freestyle. In lane zero from Aqua Gym Swimming Club, Nikki Clulo. In lane one from Taiti Swimming Club, Gemma Wilson. In lane two from Ehiratonga Sun Devils, Grace Jones. In lane three from North Shore Swimming, Andy Quirk. In lane four from Hedatonga Sun Devils, Emma Godwin. In lane five from United Swimming Club, Alice Waldo. In lane six from St. Peter's Swimming Club, Danielle Joblin. In lane seven from Aquagym Swimming Club, Natasha Johnson. In lane eight from North Shore Swimming Club, Gina Galloway. In lane nine from KRB Aquatics, Lucy Jones.
So Emma Godwin in lane four. She won the 100 metres backstroke. She's got the speed from a club that really knows how to sprint. And Emma Godwin, no surprises. She heads out very quickly, goes through in a great split of 12.19. She leads the race by 0.3 at the moment. Good challenge here by Alice Wardo in lane five. Some challenges in the outside lanes, but it is Emma Godwin's going to have it all her own way. Easy, 25-32. And a good time, faster than her heat time as well. Second goes to Alice Waldo. And third, Danielle Joblin. Congratulations, Emma. Another title to your 100 backstroke. That must be good. You're in complete control of that one. You looked, you had a 0.4 margin in the heats, and I think you had it again in the final. Were you happy with that? Yes, yeah, super happy. Tell us about the race. What were you thinking going into it? Any sort of particular game plan? Uh, not really. Just get in and rip it and see what you can do. Have some fun. How important is that turn in the 50 freestyle? I mean, do you practice that in training or is it something that you just have to nail on the night? Definitely practice in training, but it all comes down to the one race, so yeah, see how you do it in the race. And... Well, you put it all together. Congratulations, Emma, and all the best for the rest of the meet. Thank you. Please welcome the A finalists of the women's 50 metres freestyle para multi class. In lane zero from Coast Swimming Club, Shannon Murphy. In lane one from Otrahonga Swimming Club, Melissa Donahue. In lane two from Taupo Swimming Club, Siobhan Terry. In lane three from Faranui Swimming Club, Lily Fox Mason. In lane four from Howard Pakaranga, Tupo Nofi. In lane five from Selwyn Swimming Club, Ella Ben. In lane six from Selwyn Swim Club, oh, I'm sorry, lane six from Faranui Swimming Club, Gabby Smith. In lane seven from Zenith, Katie Short. And lane eight from Coast Swimming Club, Naya Wallace. So a stacked final here. We've got a full nine swimmers. Nine swimmers across the pool. Tupai Nufi going strong in lane four. She did a New Zealand record in 31.92 this morning. Lane five, Ella Benz also had a fantastic meet with a couple of titles to her name. All of these para swimmers got very, very busy schedules. And you'll see the same names coming up doing two or three swims per evening. Tupai Nufi coming in, let's see what she can do. 
She's broken her New Zealand record by 1.2 seconds. Let's give her a big round of applause. Congratulations, Tupo Nufi, another New Zealand record. And get this, she's broken four New Zealand records today. She did them in the heats and again in the finals. Congratulations, Tupo. I was just saying to everyone, as you just finished, you've actually done four New Zealand records today. You did one in the heats and one in the final. Again, in the heat in the final now. It's amazing. You took 1.2 seconds off your 50 freestyle. What do, you think, what do you think you're doing differently between this morning and tonight to get one second off? Do you think you know? Um, I think it's just, you know, being in the right mind space and just believing in the progress and trusting the process. That's awesome. That's a great response, and I think a lot of other swimmers, they, they hope to get that too, that, that feeling of getting into the evening and, and turning it on. So well done on another win. Ocean Swim Fiji. It's your ultimate swimcation. A sellout event with only 200 spaces. Join us. Visit OceanSwimFiji.com. So, what we do have now is a medal ceremony, the first medal ceremony of the evening for the events that have taken place this evening the 100 metres uh, individual medley for men and women. Uh, we've got the 50 metres freestyle for men and women, including the para multi class events. And we've got a couple of special awards to present as well. Medals presented this evening by Jesse Reynolds, Paralympian and World Para Championship swimmer. Jesse swims in the S9 and SB9 and SM9 class and has recently returned from the World Para Championships in London where he competed in the 100 freestyle, backstroke, butterfly and 200 metres individual medley events. Please give Jesse Reynolds a round of applause and a welcome to present the medals. We start the first medal ceremony as event 118, the men's 100 metres individual medley. And the bronze medal in 56-27 from Pukekohe Swimming Club, Zach Dell. In the silver medal position in 55-29 from North Canterbury, Jeremy Tasker. And the gold medalist in 54.90 from North Shore Swimming Club, Wilrick Katsia. We move now to event 218, the men's 100 metres individual medley para multi-class. In the bronze medal position in 124.74 from Hittatonga Sun Devils, Lance Dusto. The silver medalist in 122-13 from Papakura Swimming Club, Joshua Wilmer. 
And the gold medalist in 110.66, David Beck from Mount Eden Swimming. And David's time, a New Zealand record. We move now to event 119, the women's 100 metres individual medley. In the bronze medal position in 102.85 from Aquajim Swimming Club, Hannah Bates. The silver medal position in 102.53 from Phoenix Aquatics, Vanessa Oahan. And the gold medalist in a new New Zealand record time of 59.76 from Coast Swimming Club, Helena Gasson. Move now to event 219, the women's 100 metres individual medley, para multi-class. The bronze medal in 151.16 from Otrahonga Swim Club, Melissa Donahue. Sil uh, silver medalist in 126.93 from Wharanui Swim Club, Lily Fox Mason. And the gold medalist in a new New Zealand record time of 119.11 from Howick Pakaranga, Tupo Nofi. Move now to event 120, the men's 50 metres freestyle. The bronze medalist and 23 flat from North Canterbury, Ollie Rayner. Silver medalist in 22.58 from Pukekohe Swimming Club, Andrew Jeffcoat. And winning the gold medal in 22.30 from Hitatonga Sun Devils, Joshua Greening. Move now to event 220, the men's 50 metres freestyle para multi-class. The bronze medalist in 31.56 from Tehiratonga Sun Devils, Lance Dusto. The silver medalist in 33.02 from Papakura Swimming Club, Joshua Wilmer. And winning the gold medal in 28.82 from Selwyn Swim Club, Yian Edwards. Move now to event 121, the women's 50 metres freestyle medal ceremony.
bronze medalist in 26-1-6 from St. Peter's Swimming Club, Danielle Joblin. The silver medalist in 25-79 from United Swimming Club, Alice Waldo. And winning the gold medal in 25.32 from Hedatonga Sun Devils, Emma Godwin. Move now to the final medal ceremony for this part of the evening. Event 221, the women's 50 metres freestyle para multi class. The bronze medalist in 33.97 from Wharanui Swim Club, Lily Fox Mason. The silver medalist in 32.19 from Selwyn Swim Club, Ella Ben. And winning in a new New Zealand record time of 30.78 from Howick Pakaranga, Tupo Nofi. A big thank you to Jesse Reynolds, Paralympian and World Para Championship swimmer, for presenting those medals. We now resume the program for this evening at event number 122. Please welcome the sea finalists of the men's 200 meters breaststroke. The C final of the men's 200 metres breaststroke in lane zero for Mount Eden swimming, Hugh Bloomfield. 
Lane one from Blenheim Swimming Club, George Glover. Lane two from Central Coast Academy of Sport, Patrick Olgen. Lane three from North Shore Swimming Club, Jacob Wong Wu. Lane four from Howard Pakaranga, Lyle Hill. Lane five from Phoenix Aquatics, Mac Hong. Lane six from QE2 Swim Club, Ezra Daly. Lane seven from Fraser Coast Swimming Club, Zaniel Trey, Trey Cook. Lane eight, Evolution Aquatics, Tauranga, Zach Reader. And lane nine, Kiwi, uh, from Kiwi, David Cannon. Please welcome the B finalists of the men's 200 metres breaststroke. Underway this time, the B final of the men's 200 metres breaststroke. In lane zero from North Shore Swimming Club, Harrison Cook. Lane one from Central Coast Academy of Sport, Nathan Ward. Lane two from Howick Pakaranga, Shaquille Vautua. And lane three from Howick Pakaranga, Ryan Oliver. Lane four from North Shore Swimming, Blair Helms. Lane five from Central Coast Academy of Sport, Cameron Dodd. Lane six from QE2 Swim Club, Flynn McDonald. Lane seven from Swim Zone Racing, Alexander Unstead Joss. Lane eight from North Shore Swimming, Sanju Kim. And lane nine from Evolution Aquatics, Travis Hudson.
Please welcome the A finalists of the men's 200 metres breaststroke. In lane zero from Central Coast Academy of Sport, Fergus Henderson. In lane one from QE2 Swim Club, Tom Drever. In lane two from Howard Pakaranga, Ben Masters. In lane three from Aquablades New Plymouth, Zahn Collins. In lane four from Phoenix Aquatics, Bailey Wang. In lane five from Evolution Aquatics, Josh Gilbert. In lane six from Howard Pakaranga, Mario Koenitsberger. Lane seven from Vikings, Lachlan McKenzie. Lane 8 from QE2 Swim Club, Zeke Pine. And lane 9 from North Shore Swimming Club, Hunter Garrod. Away we go, the A final of the men's 200 metres breast stroke, a fantastic heat swim by Bailey Wang, lane four, just a fraction off the New Zealand age group record this morning, and often pretty hard to do a good time of the morning with a breast stroke, let the body warm up throughout the day, and a good start in lane three also from Zahn Collins, Aquablades, New Plymouth, looking nice and high and strong. But it was lane six that goes through first, the, the 50 and 100 metre breaststroke champion, Mario Koenitsberger. He's been training in the States and he's back now at Howard Pakaranga to train through to the Olympics. This is lane six's Mario Koenitsberger. And lane three on the other side of the pool, Zahn Collins, the 19 year old from New Plymouth. Sue Southgate, uh, the coach of this young promising breaststroker, Zahn Collins, just starting to take the lead. He takes the lead, he's looking in a good position at the moment. Zahn Collins takes the lead from Mario Koenisberger on the other side of the pool. To show me endurance is there. Starting to wind it up through the third 100. Sorry, the third 50. Goes to the wall with 50 metres left to go. Great underwater work here by Zahn Collins. Must have been teaching that in training. And lane four, Bailey Wang creeping up now, starting to come through. Mario Koenisberger just starting to tire a little bit in lane six, but holding on to second just. But it's all his own way. Zahn Collins from New Plymouth, the Aquablades Club is going to take this 200 metre breaststroke out. It's going to be very, very close for second. Fast finish here from Josh Gilbert. Mario snaps second just. Bailey Wang in third and Josh Gilbert just out of the medals. That was a great finish there. And surely a massive PB for Zahn Collins there.
Congratulations, son. What a swim. You got a big smile on your face. I'm going to put it straight to you. How do you feel? National title holder? I'm pretty stoked. Eh? Um, it's my first open uh, goal, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. Looking at your seed time this morning, nearly five seconds taken off there. What do you put that down to uh, from morning to night? Um, I was just in the zone. I just really wanted it that bad. Great reason. Sue Southgate over there, your coach down uh, just on the other side of the pool, making a whole lot of noise over there. Um, she'll be very proud of you, but to obviously a big part of your build-up. Yeah, um, we had some pretty long sets with her, so I just trusted my back in in that race. Well, you certainly had it. Uh, you, you pulled away from the field at the, at the sort of two-thirds of the way through there and never looked back and keep increasing that lead. So congratulations. Cheers. Please welcome to the pool deck the finalists of event one, two, three, the women's 200 metres breaststroke C final. In lane zero, from North Shore Swimming Club, Caitlin Cook. In lane one, from Raumati Swimming Club, Tori Grout. In lane two, from Ashburton Swim Team, Hannah King. In lane three, from Mount Albert Grammar, Vaselina Shipilova. In lane four, from Pukekohe Swimming Club, Caitlin Steedman. In lane five, from Viking Swim Club, Caitlin McKenzie. In lane six, from Nelson South Swim Club, Lily Hall. In lane seven, from Pirate Swim Team, Alicia Wong. In lane eight, from North Wave Swim Club, Natalie Hull. In lane nine, from Orca Swimming Club, Brianna Short.
Please welcome the B finalists of the women's 200 meters breaststroke. The B final of the women's 200 meters breaststroke in lane zero from Jersey Swim Club, Sarah Maben. Lane one from Pirates Swim Team, Lucy Borlas. And lane two from Coast Swimming Club, Sasha McCormack. Lane three from Phoenix, Rebecca Wilkins. Lane four from North Wave, Nellie Clark. Lane five from United, Olivia Gibson. Lane six from North Wave, Madeline Whittam. Lane 7 from United, Dasha Barbina. Lane 8 from Evolution Aquatics, Eleanor Gilbert. And Lane 9 from Sumbrotsarua, Annalise Kawi. There has been a disqualification, a disqualification in event 122, Heat 1, Lane 4. Please welcome the A finalists of the women's 200 metres breaststroke.
in lane zero from Howick Pakaranga, Nikki Chapman. In lane one from Raumati Swimming Club, <laughs> Leah Muna. And that was lane zero for Nikki Chapman. In lane two from Sydney University, Karita Lukinen. In lane three from North Shore Swimming Club, Ruby Matthews. In lane four from Mount Albert Grammar, Brianna Crawford. In lane five from North Wave, Kira Smith. In lane six from Jazzy, Lucy Gordon. In lane seven from Hamilton Aquatics, Gina McCarthy. In lane eight from Howard Pakaranga, Phoebe Harris. And lane nine from Pirates, Julia Borlas. The New Zealand record in this event set at 225.17, held by Kiara Smith, and Kiara Smith in lane five. So the New Zealand record holder in lane five, Brianna Crawford in lane four, and looking for, she's the 16-year-old New Zealand record holder, Brianna Crawford, and as expected, Brianna Crawford starting off very, very strong and fast over the first 50. She turns first in 32.35. There's a second margin there between her and the New Zealand record holder, Kira Smith, in the gold cap. A little bit of work to do here in lane three from Ruby Matthews. The visitor, Karita Lucanen, is going well in lane two. Can Brianna Crawford, does she have the back end to hold on to this 200 metres breaststroke? A body length lead now over the field, but uh, very early stages. Eight lengths of the pull, have to break it into parts. And in the short course, two and a breaststroke, it is so important to get that push off right, the streamline, the big pull out, and into the work. And at the moment, I think Brianna Crawford is nailing that. Kiara Smith is slipping into third place at the moment behind Karita Lucanen from Sydney University. Seventy-five metres left to swim now. Brianna Crawford looking strong in lane four. Her time this morning of 228.99. The 16-year-old age group record will get that time, see whether she can beat it again. It's 225.82. So 225.82, the New Zealand 16-year-old age group record. And Kira Smith just struggling here a little bit. And being, being approached now by lane seven and eight and three. That is Gina McCarthy, Phoebe Harris, and Leah, no, Leah Milner back in one. But Brianna Crawford is gonna win this event. She comes in with five meters left to swim the visitor, Karita. Lucanen is going to get it, but Kiara Smith is driving for the third place. She gets there. Brianna Crawford just off that New Zealand age group record, but she takes out the win by two seconds. The visitor in second. Second for the Kiwis, Kiara Smith, and Ruby Matthews takes out the bronze.
Well done, Brianna. Third national title, I think, we've got so far. Or have I missed one? Congratulations, 226, just off your New Zealand age group record, but you're happy with that performance? Two second margin over the rest of the field. It is a much better performance than this morning. It wasn't quite the one I wanted, but it was put together much better. But, um, yeah, just a couple of mistakes in that race, but live and learn, you know. And the turns in that, seven turns, seven very important turns in the turn of breaststroke short course. How much is the focus on that leading in, in terms of getting that extra advantage? Yeah, I mean, the turns have always been a really big focus for me. Um, there were just a couple in there that weren't quite right. It's cost the time, but um, yeah, it's not like it's the last time to press, so yeah, there will be more opportunities. Congratulations on another title. We'll see you in the next one. Please welcome to the pool deck, event number 124, the C final of the men's 400 metres freestyle. C final of the men's 400 metres freestyle in lane zero from Jazzy Swim Club, Hugo Rathall. In lane one from Waterhole Swimming, Bevan Jacobs. In lane two from Ashburton Swim Team, Blake Farr. Lane three from Tasman Swim Club, Bendy Capiz. Lane four from United Swimming Club, Marco Smeets. Lane five from Jazzy, Archie Perriam. Lane six from St Paul's, Dominic Faulkner. Lane 7 from Orca Swimming Club, Jackson Herrick. Lane 8 from Nelson South, Nick Hall. And Lane 9 from Jazzy Swim Club, Ollie Heaton.
on the blocks now, the B final of the men's 400 metres freestyle. B final of the men's 400 metres freestyle. In lane zero from Evolution Aquatics Tauranga, Louis Fitzjohn. In lane one from Swim Timaru, Matthew Moore. In lane two from Whanganui Swimming Club, Ethan Bryars. Lane three from St Paul Swimming Club, Corey Hurst. In lane four from Sydney University, Jack Wilson. Lane five from Mount Monganui Swimming Club, Thomas Scott. Lane 6 from Tasman Swim Club, Fergus Drummond. Lane 7 from Evolution Aquatics Tauranga, Isaac Williams. Lane 8 from North Shore Swimming Club, Hunter Garrow. And Lane 9 from Waterhole Swimming, Sebastian Priscott.
Please welcome the A finalists of the men's 400 metres freestyle. In lane zero from North Shore Swimming Club, Patrick McGill. In lane one from North Shore Swimming Club, Sung Ju Kim. In lane two from Swim Timaru, Riley Taylor. In lane three from Jazzy, Liam Maloney. In lane four from Jazzy, Quinton Hurley. In lane five from Aquablades New Plymouth, Zach Reed. In lane six from Central Coast Academy of Sport, James Coach. In lane seven from Evolution Aquatics, Tauranga, Daniel Shanahan. In lane eight from Sydney Uni, Cormac Guthrie. In lane nine from Tasman Swim Club, Alec Swan. So here we go, the 400 metre freestyle final for men. Quinton Hurley, the 18 year old in lane four. Zach Reed, who won the 800 last night in lane five. And looking at the New Zealand record for this event, held for 24 years by Daniel Loder at 340.46. And the New Zealand age group record for the 18 year olds is 342.70, so serious speed. And nice start there in lane six. So this is James Coach from The Visitor from Central Coast Academy of Sport. And uh, some nice pace setting going on there with Zach Reed. They turned the 153 0. And the thumbs are going up uh, on the other side there, just indicating Zach Reed's on track, on pace. And great to have some international competition here for Zach Reed, but he's wasted no time and really looks like he means the business tonight. He's going out for a good time. And Quinton Hurley, who typically does have a bit of a slower start and sort of builds, has certainly got some work to do at the moment. So, and then also we've got the visitor Cormac Guthrie from Sydney Uni out there in lane eight. So at the moment, the second of the Kiwis is Quinton Hurley. And second at the moment for the Kiwis is Liam Maloney, both from Jazzy Swim Club. And Zach Reed's taken the lead and he turns 149.65. So just looking to see a consistent uh, time underneath the, the coach's thumbs are up. That must mean things are going to plan. Sue Southgate and Donna Buzade over there for Napier Aqua Hawks. Done a wonderful job preparing Zach Reed as he as he gets stronger and older and he, at 19 years of age still got a big career ahead of him. And first time to the World Championships for Zach Reed earlier this year. And we turn, we look at the clock, 2.35. Coming in with 100 metres left to swim.
2 minutes 46 at the moment for Zach Reed. Just a beautiful stroke, very, very symmetrical. Nice high elbow from Zach Reed. He's breathing off to the left, but just wasting no extra energy. With a beautifully efficient stroke, Zach Reed comes in with 50 metres left to swim, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make some noise, see how fast he can go. Zach Reed leading. The visitor, James Coach, in second. Quinton Hurley doing his trademark big finish. Has he left it too late? Quinton Hurley, the second of the Kiwis. Quinton Hurley in second. Cormac Guthrie, the visitor, in fourth. Zach Reed cruises in. What a time. 3.43.6. A class act, Zach Reed. Um, interesting to see where that sits in his career bests. And Quinton Hurley taking out second for the Kiwis. Liam Maloney third. The visitors in second and fourth. Congratulations, Zach. A great swim. I was watching the coaches. It looked like you really wanted to gun that one and, and give it a good shot. Are you pleased with your performance? Yeah, pretty happy. It's a PB for me, so coming here, um, wasn't too prepared to be doing PBs, but I'm pretty happy to crack that one out. Yeah, you, you really went from the very beginning. Um, in terms of the game plan, was, was it to, you know, to go from the beginning, you know, do you, do you sort of put an emphasis on a certain 100 metre within that race? I just want to see how fast I could go through to the 200 and then just back myself to hold on for the second 200. Well, you had some good assistance from the visitors from overseas. Must be good to have some international competition over here. Yeah, it's good to see those guys come over and race us and keeps us honest. Well, good stuff. All the best for the rest of the meet. We move now to event 25, the final of the women's 4x50 metre medley club relay. Let's bring them all out. In lane zero, St. Peter's Swimming Club B, Minnie Glover, Sarah Wilson, Eve McCormack, and Savannah Burke. In lane one is the Tasman Swim Club A team. This is Maddie Shellcrats, Rebecca Loach, Piper Riley, and Isabella Thurlow. In lane two is St. Peter's Swimming Club. This is Holly Isaac, Emma Malshead. Caitlin Flynn and Danielle Joblin. And lane three is Aquagym Swimming Club A. Emmy, Emily Barron, Claire Burgess, Hannah Bates and Natasha Johnson. Lane four is Jazzy Swim Club A team, Katie McBride, Lucy Gordon, Maddie Horton, Manaya Butler. And lane five is Capital Swim Club A, Sophie Irving, Jade Morrison, Brooke Miles and Ruby Heath. In lane six is North Shore Swimming Club A-team, Gina Galloway, 
Ruby Matthews, Tori Mateague and Andy Quirk. In lane seven is Parnell Swimming A, Sarah Brooks, Alexandra Campion, Isabella Campion and Claudia Avis. Lane eight is St Paul Swimming Club A, Sarah Miller, Hannah Morgan, Amelia Della Tour and Ashley Devine. Lane nine is Evolution Aquatics Tauranga A, Maya Gardner, Eleanor Gilbert, Lily Pierce, Caitlin Farrell. Great to see the club relays coming back now. Four by 50 metre medley relay for the clubs. Let's see who's the fastest club in New Zealand over this event. And a great start there in lane six. That's Gina Galloway for North Shore Swimming. Gina Galloway leads them through the 25. And close second there is Katie McBride of Jazzy Swim Club A in lane four. Gina Galloway move, uh, changes over to Ruby Matthews in lane six for North Shore. Ruby Matthews leads out in the breaststroke. Capital Swim Club's Jade Morrison in the water alongside her and doing well out there in lane eight is Hannah Morgan from St Paul's. Pretty flat across the field at the moment but North Shore still holding a good lead. North Shore's Tori Mateen goes into the water for the butterfly. North Shore's going to be hard to beat here. And Aqua Gym is coming through with Hannah Bates. Hannah Bates into second place for Aqua Gym. North Shore Swimming's going to have Andy Quirk to finish. A lot of work to do in the middle of the pool to catch North Shore Swimming. Aqua Gym settling into second. Some nice swimming going on in the outside lanes, lane eight. Lane eight, Sarah Paul, that's Ashley Devine for St. Paul's. The challenge is on for first. North Shore Swimming's Andy Quirk versus lane three's Aqua Gym, Natasha Johnson. North Shore's gonna win this, I think. Aqua Gym's gonna get second. And St. Peter's, Danielle Joblin's gonna take third. A great swim from Danielle Joblin. And a great time, well underneath the seed time for North Shore Swimming. High five team. Gina, where are you? Very good start there in the backstroke, set the team up for a great uh, lead from the very first go. You, did you see the time on the, on the screen? Was it a good time? Yeah, it was a good time. Um, it was definitely a teamwork, so it was great to see everyone give it their best and we're happy to well underneath your seed time it was like five seconds quicker so obviously you all swam very very quickly so well done north shore swimming give them a big round of applause everyone fastest club in new zealand congratulations now it's the men's turn ladies and gentlemen the final event of this evening's program, event number 26, the men's 
four by 50 metre club medley relay. Welcome them to the pool deck. In lane zero from is the North Canterbury Swim Club A team, Nick Close, Jeremy Tasker, Ollie Rayner, Mason Jenkins. In lane one from QE2 Swim Club A team is Zeke Pine, Flynn McDonald, Bryn Rumble, Tom Drever. In lane two, Howick Pakaranga A, Ryan Oliver, Mario Koenitzberger, Shaquille Vartua, and Tyron Henry. In lane three, St. Peter's Swimming Club A team, Tyler Tapper, William Krosky, Liam Elliott, and Dan Cordwell. In lane four, the Coast Swimming Club team, Finn Kennard, double Olympian and Commonwealth Silver Medalist, Dean Kent, ladies and gentlemen, Olympian Stephen Kent and Josh McCormack Goth. In lane five, North Shore Swimming Club A team, Cornel Kutsia, Callum Prime, Chris Dawson, Wilrick Kutsia, Lane six is Pukekohe Swimming Club A, Andrew Jeffcoat, Zach Dell, Blake Elliott, Nathan Hickmott. In lane seven, Faranui Swim Club A team, Thomas McGibbon, Max Gardner, Christopher Elson, William Campbell. Lane eight, Evolution Aquatics Tauranga A, Daniel Shanahan, Josh Gilbert, Louis Fitzjohn, Connor Farrell. In lane nine, Central Coast Academy of Sport A, James Coach, Nathan Ward, Fergus Henderson, and Patrick Algin. The fastest qualifiers, Coast Swimming Club A in lane four, and what a special team this evening. The brothers, the Kent brothers, Dean and Stephen. In the water at the moment, Finn Kennard Campbell, and a fantastic start in lane six by Andrew Jeffcoat, the 50 metre backstroke New Zealand champion. Jeffcoat's storming away in the first 50. What can Dean Kent do in the middle of the pool? The 40 year old Dean Kent, 2000 and 2004 Olympian and Commonwealth Games silver medalist. Zach Dell in the water for Pukekohe, Dean Kent in the water for Coast Swimming Club. And lane eight is Nathan Ward, the visitor. Blake Elliott lines up for Pukekohe. Stephen Kent into the water for Coast. Coast Swimming Club versus Pukekohe. Can the older statesman bring the Coast Swimming Club through? Stephen Kent giving it everything. The 31 year old retired swimmer, so called retired. And into the water goes Josh McCormack. Goth a bit of pressure on his shoulders. Let's see what he can do. Josh McCormick goes for Coast Swimming Club. He's got a bit of work to do. Nathan Hickmott. Nathan Hickmott for Pukekohe. Josh McCormick goes going to get there for Coast. They get there. What a win for Coast Swimming Club.
Well, that was the final race of this evening. We're going to get some words with the Coast Swimming Club team, but thank you to the technical, technical officials of this evening's session. We now ask the officials to make their way from pool deck. Please show your appreciation for our amazing volunteers. Pretty special moment for me because uh, this guy swam in my time, 40 years old, look at the shape of him, amazing. Dean Kent, double Olympian, silver medalist Commonwealth Games, three Olympics. Stephen Kent alongside Finn and Josh, what a team guys. Uh, Dean, tell us the story behind this team. Uh, well, the, uh, the boys needed a breaststroker, so the, the old fella had to come out of retirement again. Uh, but just a pleasure to be racing with a couple of young fellas that I helped um, when they were a bit younger, so it's um, awesome to be in there with Steve-O too and, and do it for Coast. And Josh, uh, you had a bit of pressure on your shoulders there. I was looking at you going, if you lose this one, you're really going to know about it. But you brought it home. Uh, what's it like to swim with uh, these two, your old coach, uh, Stephen Kent? Uh, it's pretty, pretty great. You know, they can still get in and pump out a 50. It's all right. And Finn, great start from you to get the team underway. Uh, you training out of coast up at North uh, at Northern Arena, or you're over? Yes, I'm now at coast, back home. <laughs> well, good stuff. And Steve, um, when you're not uh, got a fire hose um, ripping into a fire somewhere at the New Zealand Fire Service, so obviously keeping pretty fit. Yeah, it's a um, it's a great way to mix. Still been able to train and have a job, so um, really enjoying it. Looks like you've been lifting some good weights too, mate. You're making me feel small. Well, well done, Coast Swimming Club. Give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for winning the club relay there. Congratulations, guys. This summer, challenge yourself. Seven stunning locations with distances to suit all abilities. Get ready for the swim of your life. Enter at oceanswim.co.nz. We now move to the final and second medal ceremony of this evening. We're presenting. We'll be presenting medals for the 200 metre breaststroke male and female plus para multi-class, the 400 freestyle for men, and the 4x50 metre medley relay that we've just watched for the clubs. Uh, medals presented by Roly Crichton, um, who's done a wonderful job with Sophie Pascoe and a number of other top para swimmers. So uh, Roly Crichton will be on the pool deck shortly to present medals. And we will, we've got a couple of disqualifications. Event 26, Heat 3, Lane 0. Event 26, listen carefully, Heat 3, Lane 5. Event 122, the men's 200 metre breaststroke medal ceremony. And the bronze medal from Phoenix Aquatics in 212.79, Bailey Wang. Silver medalist in 2.12.63 from Howick Pakaranga, Mario Koenitspega. And winning the gold medal in 2 minutes 11, 0-1 from Aquablades New Plymouth Swimming, Zahn Collins.
Move now to event 123, the women's 200 metres breaststroke, medal ceremony. In the bronze medal position in 230.17 from North Shore Swimming Club, Ruby Matthews. The silver medalist in 229.75 from North Wave, Kira Smith. The visitor silver in 228.42 from Sydney Uni, Kirita Lucanen. And winning the gold medal in 226.60 for Mount Albert Grammar, Brianna Crawford. Move now to event 124, the men's 400 metres freestyle. The bronze medalist in 358.18 from Jazzy Swim Club, Liam Maloney. And the silver medal position in 351.21 from Jazzy, Quinton Hurley. How are you? And the visitor silver in 349.82, James Coach. And winning the gold medal in 343.60 from Aquablades New Plymouth, Zach Reed. We move now to event 25, the women's 200 metres medley relay. Sorry, 4 by 50 metre medley relay. The medal ceremony for that one coming up. Winning the bronze medal, St. Peter's Swimming Club A team. Holly Isaac, Emma Maltzhead, Caitlin Flynn and Danielle Joblin. The silver medal team is Aquagym Swimming Club A team. Emily Barron. Claire Burgess, Hannah Bates, and Natasha Johnson. And winning the gold medal, the North Shore Swimming Club A team of Gina Galloway, Ruby Matthews, Tori Matigue, and Andy Quick.
Congratulations to those medalists in event 25, the women's 4x50 metre medley relay. We move now to the final medal ceremony of this evening's event, event 26, the men's 4x50 metre club medley relay. Winning the bronze medal, Pukekohe Swimming Club A team, Andrew Jeffcoat, Zach Dell, Blake Elliott, Nathan Hickmott. Winning the silver medal is the Howard Pakaranga A team, Ryan Oliver, Mario Koenisberger, Shaquille Vartua, and Tyron Henry. And the gold medal winning team from Coast Swimming Club A team is Finn Kennard Campbell, Dean Kent, Stephen Kent, Josh McCormack Goth. Well, congratulations to all of our swimmers this evening, all of our medalists and anyone that did a PB. It's been a fantastic uh, night of finals. Uh, highlights tonight, Helena Gasson's New Zealand record, uh, doing it for the second time, 100 metres individual medley. And New Zealand records in the para multi-class for David Beck and Tupo Naufi. We hope you've enjoyed the action. We'll be back live tomorrow morning for session number seven of the New Zealand Short Course Championships. My name's Scott Rice. It's been a pleasure calling the races. We'll see you tomorrow. Ocean Swim Fiji. It's your ultimate swimcation. A sellout event with only 200 spaces. Join us. Visit OceanSwimFiji.com. This Swimming New Zealand event is proudly supported by Constellation Communities Trust.